thousand nine dollars a day on Pinterest but how does it work and why in the world does the board say eBay here's a gal who claims to have made $13,000 in just a couple months using Pinterest. And here's a list of keywords, all having to do with Amazon, that rank using Pinterest. So what's the real secret here? I know a lot of other people are talking about how to use Pinterest, how to get traffic, how to put pins up there that are gonna make you money, but no one's giving you an actual strategy. So today, we're gonna show you the actual strategy, starting with what eBay is doing on Pinterest. Did you know that eBay has a full-time team managing their pins and getting tons of traffic? Yep, that's right. The eBay account on Pinterest is getting over 10 million views each and every month. And of those 10 million views, 800,000 people are going to eBay each and every month to purchase products. And I know a lot of people say it's just as simple as putting an image on Pinterest, but that's not the whole truth. It is pretty simple, it is pretty easy, but what we're gonna talk about today is the RTC strategy for making Pinterest work for you so that you could get to $1,000 a day or more just putting pins on Pinterest. So I got my notes here. Let's hop in the computer and I'll show you how this whole thing works. To show you that I mean business, I actually created a brand new Pinterest account for this exact method. We're gonna be tracking and showing you exactly how it goes and what I do. This is very important because it comes down to strategy. If you have the wrong strategy, no matter what you're trying to do online, it's not gonna work. So today, in this video, get a notepad handy because I'm going to talk to you about the strategy that's gonna make this work. Now, for this one, this is the business that I have called LOL Biz. You can see we have the setup over there behind me. In this one, what we're gonna be doing is reviewing crazy products that make lots of money on Amazon. So what I did is I actually had my outsourcer. Yes, you can actually outsource this, and we're gonna talk about how to use ChatGPT and other AI to make it work. And first, what we need to do is create our images. These are created in a certain size that fits with Pinterest. So. If we click properties here, we can see that it is 1080 by 1920. We're gonna go ahead and take these images and we're going to hit create pin. And then we're gonna upload these images right in here like this. And as you can see, we have the setup where it's like, hey, here's some crazy thing that's making money. Then what I did is I had my outsourcer go ahead and create a little blurb. She actually made four of them for each. And I'm gonna go with this one here for our pin title. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna ping for all kinds of different stuff, right? So how I made, how we're just gonna chop this to 121,000 in one month with each month, let's do each month, with a yodeling pickle. Then we could put drop shipping, e-commerce, profits. And then we put our description right like this. Then we're gonna put a destination link. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link to each page on my blog that talks about each product. So if I go to lolbiz.com, right like this, I just choose whatever link fits the product that I'm talking about, and then boom, there we go. For this example, we'll put lolbiz.com slash pickle, right like this. Then we're gonna create a board, we'll call this Crazy drop shipping Amazon products. I right, like this. And then we'll hit create. We want to make sure that we make it not secret. We do not want this checked. Then we'll hit create, right like this. And then publish. We can actually see our pin right here like this, and we can promote it to get even more traffic. Now, promoting does cost money, but it is something we're gonna test, so stay tuned. And as I mentioned earlier, in order to make big money, we need to pay attention to the strategy. So what we're gonna do is look at different websites and how they're getting traffic. Here's the eBay example I talked to you about earlier. As you can see here, eBay is actually getting like 650 million visitors a month. We can see here where their traffic is coming from right down here. We can see a lot of people, 60% just type ebay.com. Some of them come from Google and other organic search. Some come from paid search. But we can see over here that 2.5% actually comes from social media. 
And of that 2%, we could see down here that 4% comes from Pinterest, totaling 800,000 visitors a month just from Pinterest. Now, pay close attention because you can see they have all different kinds of products here on their Pinterest pins. Now, we can also see different sites like Finn Savvy Panda, who has a great presence on Pinterest, is getting about 60,000 visitors a month. However, if you look at her traffic breakdown, according to SimilarWeb, we can see over 30% is coming from social, and of that, almost 100% is coming from Pinterest. Here's another one, 50% from social, 82% from Pinterest. Another one here, 14% social, 100% is coming from Pinterest, one with 64%, and on and on we go. We can see that Pinterest is driving lots of traffic to these websites. And if I was to do a backlink report on eBay.com, you can see lots of links are coming from Pinterest right like this. And hint, you can actually see what these people are doing and where the traffic's coming from. If we were to take a look at this woodworking guy right here, we could see he has 1.9 million monthly views for all of his DIY woodworking stuff. And this works great for making money as an affiliate or blogger or anything like that. Here's another one talking about different nail designs for fingernails and makeup and different things like that. 10 million monthly visitors. And if we were to take this one here, put it into our keyword tool right like this, we could see in addition to ranking for all different kinds of keywords, they also have backlinks, many of which are actually coming from Pinterest. Now the first key to making this work is to have an end game in mind. Your end game is where you want your people to end up. This could be used for pretty much anything that you're promoting. Maybe you're out there and you're doing low content books on Amazon, or maybe you have an Etsy store, or maybe you have a blog or a YouTube channel or whatever it is, you can actually use this strategy to drive tons of traffic to whatever it is that puts money in your pocket. And once we have our end game here, we need to focus focus on the RTC or reason to click. When you create your pin, you need to focus on leaving something out. Whether it's like extra information, a printable download, a chart, a checklist, or whatever it is, we need to leave something out that needs them to click on whatever it is that they want. So for eBay, it says the product, it says the price, but in order to buy it, you actually have to click. Or in the example we're doing for LOL Biz, we have the product, how much it makes, and then for keyword reports and detailed stats on how to use that product to turn a profit, well, then they need to go to lolbiz.com. What this is gonna do is exponentially increase the amount of visitors from your pins to whatever it is that makes you money. If we're doing blogging, we can do affiliate offers or something like AdSense or even sponsored ads. And again, the key is to think differently, focus on how you can get people to click and what it is that they want that they clicked on in the first place. Then, once we're done with that, we are gonna focus on the keyword <laughs> strategy. And the keyword strategy here is super important. If we were to take Nail Designs Journal and put their Pinterest page in our favorite keyword tool, Ahrefs, SEMrush, or whatever keyword tool you're using, what you are going to find is that there's lots and lots of keywords. In this instance, she's getting over 121,000 visitors a month with a traffic value of almost $50,000 from 1,800 different keywords. And as you can see here, each of these leads to a different pin that's ranking in Google. Here we have coffin nails, another type of nails, toenails, trendy nail art, and on and on we go. And if you were to take this term and look it up in Google, you can see that she's ranking right here for Nail Designs Journal, Trendy Nail Art. And we could see the list goes on and on and on. And this is quite simply how they're using the power of Pinterest to rank for all these high traffic keywords and point people back to their websites and blogs. And the key here is having the right keyword with the low competition and consistency. You wanna be consistent and put pins up for every keyword that your niche has. So in the example I'm doing, you can see that LED chopsticks has some traffic. You could see that the can of Whoop, again, has a lot of traffic and very little competition. And you could see here that the pins that we're creating all link to things that actually get searched for. 
Here's one about some phone umbrella. Yep, there it is there with 1,300 searches a month. And since I know these are gonna be interesting, get lots of volume, and lead to a product about dropshipping that actually makes money, boom, this is super simple. Now remember, as with anything online, the results are not typical, implied, or guaranteed. The average person trying to make money online makes nothing. However, there are lots of people on Pinterest that are making this work. It does take a lot of work, but if done properly, I think you can make some decent money. And the cool part is, this works with any niche. Imagine if you just created pins about all the grammatical mistakes people make in their writing projects and get paid like 17 bucks when they get a free trial of Grammarly. And you could see here, there's lots of people doing this exact same thing. Here's one with over 10 million monthly views. Or you could take Pinterest, put it into your favorite keyword tool, and then isolate by whatever niche you're in. This will show me what Pinterest already ranks for so that I can get in on the trend and get traffic super fast. So if I was to do something like DIY, I could see all the keywords that Pinterest ranks for related to DIY. DIY projects, home decor, tutorial, and on and on we go. Heck, they even have DIY small laundry room ideas or DIY low cost chicken coops. I could point them over here to different offers about laundry, I could go over here to ClickBank and search for something like chicken coop. And here's a couple of offers that pay $21, $24 every time someone signs up to learn how to build a chicken coop. And as you can see here, tons and tons of different stuff related to chicken coops. And all they're doing is putting a simple keyword driven image up that leads back to the stuff that makes them money. And now, drum roll please, let me give you an even better tip if you're lazy and don't wanna put thousands of pins up. Let's say you wanted to promote something like this weird fabric that pays really, really well. We could actually go through and use a program like ChatGPT to ask different ways to use a product. This is important because I could ask ChatGPT 50 uses for a reusable paper towel. I could simply create images where the product is being used, create a pin, and link back to my affiliate link on my website. And as you can see here, these are super simple. You can even see how people are using different software programs like Excel to get lots of pins and promote different offers and their websites. Here's one where an accountant is going out there creating little pins about his Excel spreadsheets and driving almost a million views to his pins. And these are actually extremely simple. And if you want to learn more about how to make money with Pinterest, check out the links in the description 